All right guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a really, really cool card trick. Um, it's basically an invisible palm type performance. And I got an email from one of my subscribers wanting to be featured on the channel, but um, he said he doesn't have a YouTube channel after I offered to you know, shout him out for you know sending me a performance video. Uh, but he said he doesn't have one and he doesn't really care about the shout out anyways, he just kind of wanted to be featured. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys his performance right now, that way you guys can watch um, you know, his really good performance of this invisible uh, palm routine and then I will teach you guys how to do it. All right, so I hope you guys all liked the performance as much as I did. That's why you know I picked it to be featured here on the channel. So, um, like I said before in previous videos, if you guys want to be featured here, go ahead and go to the about section of my YouTube channel. You guys will find my email. You guys can just email me, email me some uh, ideas that you guys want here in the channel. If you guys want to be featured or uh, getting a shout out, you know I don't mind um, as long as performance is good and the quality is there. You know, like I said, I really don't mind. So go ahead, shoot me some emails if you are interested in that. Anyways, guys, here's how you guys can actually end up doing the trick. All right, so um, I'm going to teach it a little bit different, okay, but the end result is going to be the same exact thing. So here's the way the trick um, starts out. So his performance was, like I said, really good, but the way I would start it out, um, in a little recommendation, I would go ahead and if you guys have a deck of cards that's that's borderless, kind of like this one, it actually makes a trick a lot easier to perform. The spectators aren't really going to catch um, the move that you guys can do, because with, with borders, you'll see kind of it can be a little tricky, but this is gonna make it a lot easier. So make sure you get a borderless deck, right? And the first thing you wanna do is you can go up to your spectators and you can start off with any pattern that you want, but you can be like, all right, so I'm just gonna use some four cards. And when you take four cards, you take them off the top of the deck. You say, you don't need the deck anymore. And essentially what you need are five cards. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So you actually need five cards for this trick, not four. So the way you'd start this out to make the spectator believe that there's actually four cards is you go up, you say, all right, I'm gonna use four cards. So you count off one, two, three, four. And then what you do is push off the top card of the deck, catch a pinky break. And then when you come back, you say, now we, now we only need these four cards. So I'll put the deck over here. And all you do is lay those four cards on top of the one card. You now have a five card break. You pick it up and you can leave the deck off to the side. And now you have one, two, three, four, Five. And then from here, what you can do is you basically need to do somewhat of a double lift, but not as of right now. You just want to show the spectators. So we have one, two, three, and this is going to be your fourth card. But when you thumb off the cards in middle grip, so you have them, uh, your thumb here, your middle finger here, you thumb off one, two, three. And when you do that, you're going to be left with two cards in your right hand. All you have to do is at this position, and now he actually taught me this really cool trick. I had, or this, uh, this slide. I have not seen this before, but Essentially, what you do is you put the cards on the table, and as they're on the table like this, you have your index finger pushing down, your thumb pulling up, and as you're doing that, you're kind of bending the cards a little bit, and what you can do is actually just push the cards forward with your thumb, and while they're bent, you can push the cards forward like that, and as you guys can see, they're not going to separate because the cards are bent up, so it's a really, really good convincer of making your spectators believe that this is only one card. So you put the two cards on the table, you apply some pressure, bend it, you can flick it forward like that and the two cards are actually not going to separate. So from here what you want to do is the actual sleight of hand. So it looks like there's two cards here but it looks like there's one. You can fan out three cards and what you do is you give the spectators an exposed view of palming a card. So what I would do, this is a super easy way of actually palming the card, is you go ahead, you lay the deck here on your hands or the packet, you push off one card and you set it up like this you can set up just in this triangle formation. And then from this triangle uh, formation, just like this, you have your single card propped up with your thumb holding it up, you know, just like this. And what you wanna do is come over, completely concealing 
that top card. So from the spectator's view, it is going to look exactly like this. They shouldn't be able to see anything that's going on behind this hand. So make sure you guys practice in a mirror. You come over, you say, all right, so this is what, you know, magicians would do if they were to palm a card, right? So you put your hand over the top card, and from here, you actually do palm the card, all right? So you actually have the card palmed, and you say, all right, so as you can see, you really can't actually see the card, but you flip your hand over, and you show them you that you have a card palmed, right? And then you can put the card back, and you just kind of mix up the cards a little bit more, and then you do the same exact thing, but watch. And you tell the spectators, but we can actually get the card to do something a little bit different. So from here, you act, now the spectators at this point, they're gonna think you're actually palming the card. So you say, all right, so watch what happens. If I palm this card, so this way you're covering, you're completely covering the cards. Spectators should not be able to see this. You're covering the cards, but the secret move here, you put your hands like this, and instead of actually palming the card, you're holding your hand over the cards, and you're going to lift your left thumb up, and that is gonna cause the card to drop back onto the deck you can kind of square it back up like this with your left hand, that way it looks like. And that's why you want that borderless cards, because if you have bordered cards and you drop the card, you have the cards like this, the spectators might see a little flash of something right in that area. So that's why it's good to have the borderless cards. You have your hand here, you cover it up. From the spectator's view, they're not going to be able to see you dropping the card if you have it at the right angle. And that's why you want to practice with the mirror. It's a little bit difficult with the camera here, but if the spectators are directly in front of you. You're completely covering their side of view. This is the exposed. All you have to do, lift that thumb up, and then it looks like you come away. It looks like the card's not there. It looks, yeah, it looks like you have a palm. And then you can do uh, whatever magical gesture you want. So you can close your hand like this, show it to the spectators. Say, all right, so look, I really have the card palm like this. And then you open up your hands. You can even flash your fingers a little bit, showing them that you don't have anything there. And then what you want to do is put your hand back on top of the cards. And you want to make sure your fingers are closed here. And you say, look, if I just rub the cards like this, one more card is going to appear just like that. So it looks like you had the card invisibly palmed, but in reality you just had this little double lift. And then at this moment you can pry back these two cards. Okay, so these are actually two cards. You can pull these back, show us back. Right, so I'm going to use these two cards now. And all you do is since you have three cards still left in your hand, you're going to do that same exact middle grip effect. Where you take the top card off, and then you can place the top card. Now this is going to be a packet right here. So this packet of two cards, you place that directly on top. It looks like you have two cards. You do the same exact thing where you bend the cards like this. You just kind of push it forward and it really looks like there's only two cards. I promise you guys, try this out for yourself. It's really cool. It really looks like there's uh, only two only two cards there. So in reality, you have three. You pick up the two cards from the bottom and you do the same exact thing. So you can say, right, look, so watch. I'll do it one more time. You pick up the card, same exact thing. Now this time it's going to be a little more tricky because you need to make sure that you don't flash anything because you only have two cards here, but you need to make it look like there's only one card left right so you pop this card up like this you cover it up to the spectators you're covering it up and now if your hand is exactly like this they should not be able to see any movement just like that guys and as you pull away it looks like you have the card palmed but in reality you actually have two cards in your hand and like i said guys the borderless edges is going to make it a lot better so you do that exact same thing you make sure you have your angles right you cover up the card just like that and then the spectators you say all right so i take this card the card drops you square it up you can do the same magical gesture where you take your hand away, just like that. It looks like there's nothing there. You wipe your hands over like that, and then you can spread the cards. And there's going to be a third one popping up out of nowhere. And then from here, you have basically a sing you have two cards left, right? But this looks like one, so you say, right? So that was just... And you can make it really casual. You don't even have to notice. You don't even have to emphasize that it was only four cards. You can flash this card to the spectator, put it back on top of the deck. It looks like one card, and you're pretty much clean from... There. So, I hope you guys really liked that performance and uh, you know the tutorial as well. But like I said, guys, I really did enjoy um, his performance of the trick. But that is how you can get it done. And like I said before, go ahead and email me if you guys want to be featured on the channel. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.